Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a video in Advanced Warfare. And, well, actually I'm going to be talking about mainly the new weapons. Mostly because they're the DLC practices, or see, I don't know what to call the new weapons, I guess, just extra weapons. There have been extra weapons added a couple months ago, or maybe a month ago, you know, whenever. And then now, they've actually gone ahead and added three more weapons. And the new weapons are the AK-47, the CL-3, and the M-16. So that's two assault rifles and one shotgun. Of course, they had to be unlocked through the supply drops, just like the last batch. And that's one of the things I want to focus on. Is that's actually one of the main things that's gotten everybody pretty mad at Sledgehammer Games. And at this point, I don't even know if Sledgehammer will actually be allowed to make another Call of Duty, just because you know just the negative reception they've basically given the game. Of course, at this point, since it wouldn't, since it's not being given to the, uh, to everybody free, or to, at least to the, you know, the uh, uh, season pass owners, I think that this is mainly Activision's, you know, doing basically saying, uh, well, the sales aren't up like we thought they would, so go ahead and make these guns and put them in supply drops so people have to supply. They, if people want these guns, you half you pretty much have to buy one of the packages for supply drops and that's pretty crappy actually cuz I went ahead this morning and bought uh, a supply drop package you know I got 13 of them which is the $20 option you get 10 and it says plus 3 but it's really just 13 so once you own I opened all these up and I didn't get a single one of the new weapons. Of course, I did get the SGG Iron Claw, which is pretty cool. So, uh, finally, I completed my collection of all the first three weapons. So, that's actually what the gameplay is going to be. I'm going to be using the the uh, the base version of the STG. And right now, I'm going through and trying to get the gold camo for it. So, this is yeah, it looks like, and see if it's actually something worth the time. But the way they're handling this is just, I. It's one of the things that makes me not want to play the next game, but uh, I probably will eventually. It's it's like it's probably what I'm gonna do with like Black Ops 3. Is I'm not gonna buy and really reach there. I'm actually gonna wait until uh, like a month or so later, maybe around Christmas time, to get it. So uh, by that time, at least some of the first launch kinks should be worked out by then, and maybe there's some server crashing and stuff like that. You know. If the beta crashing is still there in the first week or so, I you know I can avoid that and uh, be a better product. And by the time a lot of people might have their opinions out, so that I might just vote it all together, depending on you know what goes on. And so I'm probably gonna do that for the next you know Call of Duties. But basically, I just wanted to make this video as a I guess a D celebration of Advanced Warfare's newest update. It's still got the crappy hit detection, you know, the crappy hit code and all this stuff like that. On top of that, it has some of the worst servers I've ever seen, some of the worst engine lag that, actually the first game I know that has engine lag built in, that they physically cannot remove the engine lag without redoing the entire engine or moving to a, a tire new engine in. If they did that, that'd be great, but I, I don't see Activision wasted money. Uh, basically anything that would actually make our experience any better. But, you know, uh, this video is kind of random. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, I do apologize for the gameplay in the background. It went my best. Um, uh, I've been playing Black Ops 3 for the last week, so it's kind of maybe a little bit rusty in Advanced Warfare. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next video.